In the last episode, we decorated our second cabin area as well as cleaned up the farm. We had some inventory issues, so we decided to fix that by building a shed and sorting out all of the items. A chicken also somehow managed to lay an egg against the wall? Eh. Eh. Yeah. What do you mean? Today we ventured to Robin to build ourselves a well, as well as switching out the house and the shed's placements. So we're gonna skedaddle over to Robin, and we're gonna check it out, and ooh. What? You can steal that? I'm so sorry, I'll put it back. So that was the position I was thinking initially, but that one could also be pretty good. It should probably be all the way back like that, right? I like that actually, that's not bad. I also love the fact that she works over festivals when she upgrades your house. That is so cruel. You're already making her work over her workout day, and then you're also making her work over festival days. So, we should fix this place up now. The gravel, it looks nice. It really does look nice, but it's missing something. Boom! We get it for free? You can make an infinite amount! Praise the Lord Jesus. I didn't even get to this one, but I saw this one as well, and this one looks amazing too. Oh, see, so yeah, you're uh, like, you're just spoiling me at this point, dude. Oh my Lord. Dude, there's so much stuff! Now it's time to harvest. Even in the winter it actually looks kind of nice. Oh, it's because of the grass, right? I might actually spend this entire winter kind of just sleeping and building. Yeah, let's plant a few of these and let's see if we can seed maker them and get some back. Let's put them here for now. You know what powdered melon reminds me of? And has anybody here played Yoshi's Island? The original one. Yoshi had these little, little power-ups you could pick up and you, like, you could eat melons and spit melon seeds and then there's like fire melons, you breathe fire and then ice melons and you breathe ice. Now we just need seeds here, because I wanted to pop a little bit. I'm, I'm gonna check what winter seeds we have. <laughs> Second thought, maybe not. I may have sold a lot of them. <laughs> maybe all of them. We're gonna have to go pick some up. That is amazing. He looks like Chewbacca, dude. He looks so comfy. He must be so warm. That's very cute. That should be everything. And now we can get a bunch more seeds and put them everywhere. Oh, the powdered melons are having quite a bit of show over here. Oh wait, these are already watered. Oh, I'm stupid. <laughs> They're already watered. What am I doing? Let me actually try this. <laughs> oh, that's just delightful. Oh, wait a minute. Oh my God, are you serious? I need underscore to task this. What? Didn't we do this like a year ago? We just haven't been in the saloon. <laughs> Those eggs must have gone bad by now. Listen to the sound. Eggs are not supposed to be crunching. <laughs> Is he eating the whole egg? <laughs> yeah, he eats them with his shell. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's a year old omelet. Yeah, that's, that, that's also it. Oh, no. I think we'll do this one. I kind of want the teleporter because it could be handy when we start decorating later on and we need to go to the far edge of the map. So how rare are these ectoplasms? Not as bad as prismatic slime, if I'm not mistaken. Like some crate. Oh, there it is. We got it. Nice. Look how dark it is out here. And then you go on the farm. This is so welcoming. 
Hello, sir. Wow! You're welcome, sir. Even though you don't seem very grateful, you're welcome. Let's take a quick little look up here. Yeah, look how many trees there are. Oh my god. And then we're gonna do this. That way the grass can't spread past that line. Poor neglected animals can eat again now. I mean, I think they had, hey. The problem is, I don't think they have a deluxe coop. I believe that that is a big coop. Or a barn. So I don't I don't think they're getting fed. I, I, <laughs> I think they're still struggling. Ooh, I know where the shipping bin is gonna go, guys. Oh my god. The shipping bin could be right there. Mm-hmm. That's it right there. Oh my god, that's decent money. What? And the egg is still there. <laughs> yeah, I think we'll sell the, the animals, actually. <laughs> The coop is just full of happy rabbits and these guys haven't been fed in months and now they're getting sold off. It's not easy being an animal on this farm, guys. Go ahead and open up these mystery boxes. Here we go. It's loot boxes time. You can get treasure chests from those? Yo! You know we're displaying that, right? We're not selling this. Hello, Pierre. I got business. Wait, what is that? Very special gift that would delight anyone. Oh, so it's a gift you can give anybody? Can you drink this? No. Oh, you can gift it to anybody and it's a loved gift, I assume. We're not doing that. We're gonna put this up as decoration as well. So where do we want to display the treasure chest? I have an idea. Like here, somewhere in the middle. Purple tea party, you can put them in fish tanks now. Wait, the tea? Oh no, you mean the treasure chest, of course you do. <laughs> I don't know why I was thinking the tea. Yeah, I, I figured, <laughs> I figured. I'm gonna put the tea up there. Maybe green tea on the next one, that could be cool. Let's open up the last three mystery boxes. Oh, <laughs> is there spaghetti? <laughs> is this gonna be fresh spaghetti in a mystery box looted from a mob? Maybe the tea thing in the aquarium is not such a silly idea after all. Check this out. Right there. That works perfectly, man. Yes, that's exactly what I wanted it to be. The priority right now is to finish this area. All right, it's looking pretty good here. I kind of just want to take a moment to look at this. Do we have a hat over that we don't need? That's so cool, dude. Maybe we'll put, we'll, we'll switch their place. We do that. Maybe we should do Squid Fest. So where do you do Squid Fest? You also get different rewards at the Squid Fest both days. Oh, now you're tempting me. Just because we can, guys, just because we have the technology. We gotta teleport there. You're a local, huh? Hope you don't mind if I pinch a few of your fine squid. Actually, I do mind that. Please don't do that. Trout man? <laughs> Duck man versus trout man? That's gonna be the final battle of Story Valley. All right, let's get some squid. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. I gotta focus, I gotta focus. Whoo, okay. 
That's what I worked so hard for? Three pieces of wood? On to the next one. Maybe we should wait until we have a fire fishing level up. Deluxe bait causes fish to bite even faster. What? That's insane. Wait, the, the bait is already like crazy for that. I wonder if these will start fishing for midnight squids instead after it gets late enough. Neptune Glade. Boom. Three stone. Almost a Neptune Glade. Oh. Oh. Don't mind if I do. Pearl. Um, guys, we're having a little bit of an issue with the inventory here. We might need to come here with an empty inventory tomorrow. <gasps> what? Wait, double yield from crab pots? That's cool. I like that. Let's drop off our stuff. Yo, look at the trees. Wait, that is so pretty. Wait, what is that? Oh, wait, that's pretty cool. Wait, you can change your bobber. I'm feeling so fancy now. Look at that. We haven't actually gone to him at all, so I think we're going to get all the rewards in one go, right? Surely you don't need to go one at a time like we did yesterday. <laughs> he just catches a squid, goes, gotcha, throws it up in the air, and then my magnet ring just sucks it up, and I'm like, I'm sorry, dude, one me. I don't know what happened to your squid. What do I get for this effort that I put in? Okay. You get a trap bobber, that's useful. Three mystery boxes, another three mystery boxes. Sea foam pudding, squid hat, that's adorable. That's definitely going on the cat. Three triple shot espresso, which is nice. Another dish of the sea will be handy for fishing from legends and stuff. And then another treasure chest. We have two now. Okay, he looks positively ridiculous. I'm gonna stick to the hat, the, the straw hat. Here we go. <laughs> Just a bunch of bombs. <laughs> what is Key trying to tell us, dude? Oh, you can get more of them? How are there two boxes inside of one box? How's that even mathematically possible? That one has a prismatic two? Wait, that's three in a row because we got it on the first one too to get the galaxy sword. Oh, there is another one. Oof, that's satisfying, dude. That's so satisfying. Everything goes away. <laughs> We're so lucky with these. That's the lionfish. That's the blue discus. That's the river jelly. That, I don't know what it is. Oh, she's not here? Oh, we got the catalog. I forgot about that. Oh. Turtles? 500k turtle. Oh my god. We are definitely getting a turtle. There is no way we're not getting a turtle. There it is. Magic rock candy. That's going to be good for the first Skull Kevin run. Oh, bubbles. Oops. Bye bye. Oh my god, <laughs> they're already gone. They didn't even last two minutes. I think our next goal in game is to is specifically to get level eight combat. If we get level eight combat, we can go to the Skull Cavern, get that all sorted. We need Iridium for a lot of things and we need money and the uh, auto pattern. So a lot of things could be solved by having that. All right, let's see how we did. And a bada bing. I wanted to just take a quick look here. What this looks like in spring. Yeah, this is this is looking good, dude. I like this. I might move this tree. Then it wouldn't block any of the barrels. And then we'll be working on the fish pond area next. But yeah, that is unfortunately going to have to be it for today. Thank you everybody so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. If you're not already part of it, I recommend you join the Discord. It's the best place to reach me when I'm offline. And I do stream warnings whenever I go live. Take care of yourselves. Stay safe out there. And peace out.